Hey there! It's great to be back with you and to be bringing you good news and good cheer. We just finished an awesome Gemini full moon. This moon was in positive energy flow with Jupiter, gifts from the gods. And Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius. So with the sun in Sagittarius and the moon in Gemini, this speaks to good news, good cheer, opportunity. And the positive energy continues into the new year because right at the beginning of the year on January 2nd, we have the Capricorn new moon. There are no challenging aspects to this new moon. And it's in positive energy flow with Uranus, the awakener, the planet of opportunity when you're willing to take a risk, when you're willing to go into the unknown or the unfamiliar. This is the planet of innovation, creativity, liberation, and it's in positive energy flow with the Capricorn new moon. This is good news. What else is very exciting for us is we're leaving a five year behind 2021 and we're moving into a six year 2022. Now sixes can be about relationships. Sixes are about moving on, moving forward, leaving the challenges behind, leaving the rough waters behind, and moving to calmer shores, moving towards your goals, moving towards what inspires you and uplifts you. So a six year can be about harmony. It can be about love. It can be about positive growth without all of the challenges that the five year has brought us. And this is really good news. So as we move into the new year with this positive energy, it's as if the universe is saying, hey, we've given you this wonderful new moon to jumpstart your year and there isn't the roadblocks or challenges that you have been used to facing so many new years that you've gone into. Now, it doesn't mean there isn't going to be challenges because life is challenge, but it doesn't have to be so harsh or extreme like the past few years have been on all of us. So, with Uranus in this position of harmony, with the moon coupled together with the sun, every time the moon and sun couple together, we're in a new moon and it's a new 30 day cycle. Here, at, right at the beginning of the year, the day after New Year's, it is, a mo like I said, an omen for the new year. It is our opportunity to plant our seeds in good soil that will flourish and grow in the weeks and months ahead. And this is very exciting. Uranus is the liberator. Uranus is the one that wants to free you from your self-imposed limitations or who you thought you were supposed to be or what you thought you were supposed to be doing. If you're in alignment with who you truly are, what is authentic for you, what is real for you, then Uranus brings you more of what you are and what you're doing. If you're on the wrong path or you're in the wrong field or you're in a toxic relationship and so on, Uranus is the one that will liberate you from it. And with these powerful energies, it's best to let go of resistance and flow with the changes, flow with the opportunities. And this is such a wonderful new moon because oftentimes when we have to make change, it can be abrupt, it can be harsh, it can bring a lot of chaos. With this, it's more freeing and flowing and welcoming. It's the kind of change you want. It's the kind of change that you're like, hey, 
I'm ready for this. I want this change. I want this new relationship. I want this new job opportunity. I want to move or I want to renovate my house. I want to bring in the new because it's more reflective to who I am now. It's very challenging for me to not move my hands when I talk because I'm incredibly expressive. <laughs> I literally should sit on my hands so that I don't use them so much because I know when you're listening and watching, it can be distracting. Now, Saturn has been duking it out with Uranus. Now, these are the heavyweights of the universe. And it has caused a lot of challenge for, for many of us in our personal lives, in our work. The disruption has been extremely harsh. Now, the final uh, meetup of these two occurred on the 23rd of December. That's the final pass. Now, the energy is going to hang around because they're slow moving, but they are separated. They're not going to meet up again in 2022. They are separated, but the energy is hanging around. Saturn represents the structures you build. Saturn represents your reality, the form. Uranus is like a tornado. It can come through and in 10 seconds, take your house away, take your relationship away. Take your job. It's best to, again, for us, the strategy with these two is to really pay attention to what is true for you, what is authentic for you, what is real for you. Because if you're being true to yourself and you're living from your truth, then yeah, you're going to go through some challenges, you're going to go through some setbacks possibly, but you're going to come out stronger. You're going to come out clearer. These planets only take what's obsolete. They don't take what is part of your future, your life path destiny, what is right for you, what is true for you. But dealing with these two heavyweights is no fun. I mean, it has been so challenging this year with Saturn fighting Uranus and Uranus fighting Saturn. Saturn saying, hey, I want to keep the status quo. Let's just keep things the way they are. Let's change slowly. Uranus is saying, no, that's not fast enough. That's not quick enough. We need to liberate these people. We need to liberate everyone from the chains that bind them. And most of the time, it's our own self-imposed limitations that we, you know, how we get in our own way and how we hold ourselves back. It can be, you know, from our insecurities. It can be from fear. And Saturn's really good at, you know, kind of rubbing your nose in uh, your insecurities and your doubts and really testing your self-confidence. And so with Uranus, Uranus is like, hey, you know what? Yeah, the fear may be there and you may feel a little insecure, but you know what? You'll move through it. Take that risk. Step into the unknown. Step into the unfamiliar. And you will be rewarded. You will be shown the way as well. One of the things that I have found, you know, this year with these energies, and uh, especially with my own astrology, is exhaustion. I really went into 2021 extremely exhausted. And then I had an injury, Saturn rules bones. And so I took a sabbatical. I stepped back from everything so that I could rest and recharge myself and re-energize myself so that I could come back to my work fresh. I don't think there's anything worse than just showing up for work and not really wanting to be there or not having the energy to be there. You can't fake it till you make it with Saturn and Uranus. You really want to be listening and not pushing yourself or keeping yourself so busy that you're not noticing what's happening to you physically. So this is an opportunity now to really rest because you want to go into the new year rested, restored, because it's pivotal to getting what you want. The universe can only give us what we're ready for. 
And if we're broken and exhausted, we're really not ready for anything. Even though our heart's desire may be, I'm ready for that new business opportunity. I'm ready for that new job. I'm ready for that new relationship or that new best friend or new group or whatever your heart's desiring. If you're exhausted and you don't feel well, then you're not ready for what you want. So the first step for all of us is to take really good care of ourselves and give yourself that time. Less is more. Doing less and having more rest. Doing less and having more life. Doing less and having more time for yourself so that you can figure out what it is that you want now. Because as we move into the new year, Venus, the goddess of love, prosperity, and what you truly love and value is retrograde in reverse. Well, what does that mean? It means this is the time to reflect on who you are now, because who you are now is not the same person you were six months ago, a year ago. Venus wants you to pause and take a beat and reflect on, okay, what do I love and value now? Now, if you love these videos that I'm going to be putting out for you, smash that like button. That way it lets me know that you're glad I'm back, you want more videos, and it also lets YouTube know and brings in uh, more people to the video. It really helps to support my work and bringing you more great quality videos. So Venus is saying, hey guys, take a beat. Look at what you're doing. Is this really where you want to be? Is what you're doing who you are now? Take this time. She will go direct at the end of January, January 29th. So from the 19th of December through the 29th of January, Venus is asking for you to really look at what it is you love now. What is it that you want in your life? What is it, what is it that's going to make you happy? And again, it's really hard to make that choice and decision to think about when you're super tired and exhausted from everything you've been through these past few years. And that's why it's so important to be practicing extreme self-care and taking good care of yourself and resting and getting the care that you need so that you can be ready for what you want and what you're ready to manifest in your life. And you know, another thing I realized this year was being a creator, being a conscious creator, it's a messy business. It's not about being perfect. It's not about being perfect. When you're starting a new business or you know, starting a new relationship or anything that you're doing and you're in the process of creating, it's gonna be messy at times. It's okay to not be perfect. It's okay if not everyone likes you or gets you or understands what you're doing. It's part of the process of being a creator. If you're creating a new channel or a new blog or a new business. You have a new idea that you want to bring to market and do. It's messy at times. It's going to be messy. Let go of any need to be perfect. The most important thing we can do is to just keep going. That was another thing I realized this year too, is that it's not about what knocks you down in life. It's not about the setbacks you can experience from your health, from losing people, from, from whatever is going on in your, your life. It's about getting back up. It's about resilience. The body is amazing and its ability to heal from anything if you take care of it and give it what it needs. And the same thing with a business idea or a business opportunity or a new relationship, whatever your heart desires. It's not about a straight line from A to B. It's, it's about moving forward and then there's two steps back or you, you, you figure things out and then you didn't figure things out or you made a mess of things. It's okay. It's 
It's part of the process. It's a part of being a creator. It's okay to be messy when you're creating. And it's not about being perfect. It's about progress. It's about being progressive and keep moving forward. One foot in front of the other. So what keeps you up at night? You know, the whys are what can really get us. Why did this happen to me? Why did I hurt my back? Why does my astrology have to be so harsh? <laughs> why? 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 You can drive yourself crazy with the whys. Stay out of the whys. Don't try to figure out the whys. Focus on the what. What do you want in your life? What do you want? Keep your focus on the what because that will move you forward. Don't be concerned with the hows. The hows will show, they'll show themselves to you as you move forward, as you put one foot in front of the other. Your job is to focus on the what. What do I want in my life? What do I want right now? What's important to me? What do I truly love and value? What matters to me? Focus on the what. Stay out of the whys and let the universe give you the hows. Because once you show the universe you're ready for action, you're ready for whatever your heart desires, they'll show you the steps, they'll guide you to the hows of how you can do it and how you can get what you want. For me, I want more joy in my life. I want more fun. I burnt myself out because I was so focused on the work and so focused on responsibilities that it just kind of took my life over. And it was just every day get up and produce and publish and get this done and take care of this. And there was so little time for myself and just having fun. So I'm never going back to that level of work again. I want to, I love to work. It's my passion. However, I want to have a lot of fun too in what I do because that's who I really am. I love to clown around. I love to be silly. I love to laugh and have fun. And so that's my new what with Venus retrograde is I'm taking time to have fun. I'm taking time to uh, enjoy myself. And so think about what it is you want going into this new year, because January is the month that we set our foundation for the rest of the year. And we're being given this wonderful, beautiful new moon in Capricorn in positive energy flow with the innovator, with the great creator, Uranus. Now we have more good news here because powerful Pluto is in positive energy flow with the North Node in Taurus. The, the nodes have moon, moved from, <laughs> if I can speak, the, the nodes have moved from Gemini and Sagittarius to Taurus North Node, Scorpio South Node. Now, the North Node represents the direction in life you're to go in. The South Node's about where you are to travel no more. So we are here again, once again, in Taurus, which is ruled by Venus. What do you love and value? Where is this path taking you? Now, with Pluto and positive energy flow with the North Node, that's power at your disposal if you're following your star, if you're following your own North Node, not other people's, but what is true for you, what is right for you. And when you do, you will be supported. Now, Mercury the Messenger is taking his turn to reverse on January 14th through February 3rd. So the second half of January will have Venus in reverse and Mercury in reverse. This is the time to meditate on what you want in this six year, in this wonderful year of 2022. What tribe do you want to belong to? What new friends do you want to make? What love do you want in your life? What work do you want to be doing? What project? What helps you feel creative and passionate about your life and what you're doing? 
Now, in the second half of the month, <laughs> if you find yourself changing your mind quite a bit, that's okay with the Venus retrograde and now Mercury retrograde. You could find yourself in the restaurant going, hey, I want the chicken. No, maybe I want the fish. No, maybe I want a salad. Hey, bring me all three. <laughs> so allow yourself to take your time and really meditate on what's true for you now. Take good care of yourself. Rest and recharge because that's the key to getting what you want.